So the first design alternative that we're going to look at is using coarse grain session beans. In this structure that I'm showing you, we're only looking at the web container and the EJB container because the applet container that interfaces with the client is in the web browser, so we don't worry about that. We'll talk only about how we structure the web container and the EJB container in the different design alternatives. So the web container contains the presentation logic, and in the structure that I'm showing you, a servlet corresponds to an individual session with a particular client. So this box represents a particular client, this box represents a second client, and there's a presentation logic commensurate with servlet one, that is client number one, and similarly, presentation logic commensurate with servlet two, which is client number two, and there is a coarse grain session bean that is associated with each of these servlet. And in turn, the session bean corresponds to the client that is being served through the servlet number one. And similarly, servlet number two is served by the session bean. And as the name suggests, the session bean is responsible for the specific needs of the particular client that it is serving for this particular session. Therefore, the session bean will worry about the data accesses that are needed to the database in order for the business logic to do its thing. So if, let's say, we are doing an airline reservation system, and if this is requesting a particular booking, then the session bean is going to be the one that contacts the database server in order to pull the specific dates and airline reservation information that is needed for the business logic to do the pruning and selection commensurate with whatever this particular client has requested. And there are multiple sessions that are contained in this EJB container, depending on the number of clients that have simultaneously, temporally made a request to this particular service. So the EJB container has to provide some service for all the sessions that are concurrently going on in this server. All of the data accesses that are needed for a particular session is taken care of by the session bean. And therefore, the amount of help that we need from the EJB container in terms of services is pretty minimal for supporting this particular model. And, and in fact, it is confined to any conflicts that might arise in terms of external accesses for satisfying the request of these different session beans. So the EJB container service that would be needed is primarily for coordinating, if any, across concurrent independent sessions. An example would be if they want to access the same portion of the database for writing some records. In that case, they may need some coordination help from the EJB container service. The other important attribute of this structure is that the business logic is confined to the corporate network. It is not exposed to the outside world because it is not contained in the web container. It is contained in the EJB container, and therefore the business logic is not exposed beyond the corporate network. That's a good thing. So the pros of this particular structure is that you need minimal container services and also that the business logic is not exposed to the outside world. But the cons for this particular structure is this application structure is very akin to a monolithic kernel that we've talked about a lot. There is very limited concurrency for accessing different parts of the database. For instance, I mentioned that these services provided by these giant scale services tend to be embarrassingly parallel. So there's lots of opportunities for pulling in data. Example would be, let's say, that the particular query is to compile demographic distribution of all the employees in the company. In that case, there's an opportunity to pull in lots of data simultaneously from the database, but unfortunately, the structure doesn't allow you to exploit such concurrency. So in other words, this coarse grain session bean structure represents a lost opportunity for accessing and pulling lots of data from the database in parallel for satisfying either the same request or even concurrent requests that may be accessing the same portions of the same database.